15. Signs you are in a toxic relationship. Everybody expects that they can have a good relationship with their loved ones. From our early age, we build our picture of the ideal love life that can always bring happiness, support and build family together. This ideal picture is not only owned by women but also by men. As time goes by, this ideal of perfect future may fade away. But you can still have the more realistic image of happiness you can have from a relationship. A good relationship is caring, supportive, communicative, and give respect to each other. It doesn't mean you never have a conflict with your partner, but when you do have a conflict, both of you can always find the best option to solve the problem. You can find a diplomatic way from each other's point of view. Especially when you already have kids, you will put them on the top priority. But just like a coin, there will always be two sides of it. So does a relationship. The opposite of a good relationship is a bad relationship which can be mentioned as a toxic relationship. A toxic relationship can be stressful, make you depressed, and mentally drown you. Many of us don't want to get caught in this kind of relationship. A toxic relationship doesn't only apply to romantic relationships but also in other types of relations. Such as business, relationship with your family, your parents, your colleague, or with your friends. Before you fall in a toxic relationship you have to know what are the signs. If you know these signs you can make a decision about it. Are you going to fix it, try to communicate to your partners, or you just simply get out of it? Here are a few signs of a toxic relationship you should know. 1. They always find faults on you. Whatever you do they always say that you are wrong. Even if they asked for your advice and you give them ideas or choice of solutions they tell you that your suggestion is wrong. They don't appreciate everything you do. They criticized your hobby, your style, they criticize the fundamental aspect of you as a human. 2. They make fun of you. This kind of attitude is similar to verbal bullying. Maybe in the beginning it's just like they are just kidding. Maybe you can laugh at it first. But then you realize they do this every time you meet with them. From the small things such as they make fun of your new hairstyle with saying, what the hell are you doing with your hair, do you have other clothes? If you dress like this even clowns will be less funny than you. They also like to embarrass you in front of others like, okay team let's do this together but don't ask him, her. He, she is too short, even the parking meter is taller than him, her. 3. They always use abusive language. Okay, maybe sometimes we use some slang words in our daily conversation with our friends. But you must be aware when someone is always using abusive language to others. Despite the cultural differences or habits, when someone uses harsh or abusive language in every situation then you must be careful. The excessive use of abusive language can make others feel not appreciated. Worse, other people can feel lowered especially when the abusive language is told in front of the public. Try to remember if your partner does that to you or not. Do your partner like to call you, idiot, moron, stupid, or any other abusive language in front of public without hesitation? If so then you must be cautious of your partner. Because there's a potential if someone does abusive language there is a possibility they can do abusive physical behavior too. 4. They overprotective. One of the signs of toxic behavior is overprotective. A person with this attitude wants to protect others from all the bad things that may happen in this world. Well, at least that's what they say. The truth is, they feel insecure with themselves. They just don't want to be alone in this world. So they want others to feel the same as they do. Take a look at yourself. Do you have to give a report for whatever you're going to do today? Do you always get a text message asking you what you are doing right now? Or whenever you want to go out with your friends you'll have to give the details of what is the name of the place you're going, how many hours you will spend with your friends and other questions. Basically an overprotective person makes you hard to breathe. Makes it hard for you to move. For you, living together with an overprotective person feels like living in a prison. 5. They get jealous easily. Still related to overprotective people who feel insecure with themselves, there are people who can get jealous easily. A slight difference between overprotective and jealousy is the overprotective trait can be found in a wider angle, not limited to romantic relationships only. They can be found in relations between parents with their children or between best friends. 
while jealousy is more often found in couples with romantic relationships. For example, your partner may don't mind if you go out with your friends. But when you want go out and there's a person with opposite sex in your group then it can be a trigger for jealousy. The symptom of jealousy is similar to overprotective. They can contact you every hour, asking the details of the opposite sex identity, and even they can make a rule for how much time you can spend. You can imagine how uncomfortable it is if you're constantly under suspicion of your partner. 6. You're always get judged. Have you ever felt you never get positive feedback? When you ask them why they do that they always reasoned that it's for your own good. They never give you constructive criticism but the only thing you hear is some kind of mockery. They don't say, I think if you add more blush on it will look good on your face but what they say is, you're so ugly. If we're going to go out with that look on your face it would feel like I'm walking around with an alien. They can criticize you from a corner where you are not even involved in the situation such as the government policies just because you have a different opinion from them, into the small things like your cooking. They can go crazy even if you just forgot to put more salt on the dishes. 7. The lost of two ways communication. If the overprotective person always want to reach you and detect wherever you go, this one air the opposite. If you are in a relationship with this kind of person maybe you don't feel about it at first. But after the time goes by you just realize that you never have a lot of good communication. They just seems don't care about what you're going through. Imagine you have a bad day at the office and the only thing you want to do is to release a little burden of your shoulder. You think there's no other right person to tell your stories better than your partner. But when you got home and you started to tell your stories and even started to cry a little bit only to release the tension you have, your partner just walked away. Ignoring you. And these patterns are repeated over and over again. If this happens all the time, you will feel neglected, abandoned, and slowly you will feel emptiness. It's just like you're living only by yourself even if you have your partner beside you. 8. They don't support you. One thing that you expected from your partner or your loved ones is when they say, relax, I got your back. If you have support, then the confidence inside you will grow. You will become bolder. Especially when you're going to make a big leap on your life such as going to college, career selection, or marriage. When you feel lost or sad after experiencing a failure, very reasonable if you expect some kind of support. But when you need them to give a pat on your shoulder, they shout it instead. They tell you that your problem is nothing than what they have experienced before. 9. You're not able to say no. A healthy relationship is where you can argue and speak freely without worries about a chain of command. From good communication all of the decisions made are a result of an agreement. But what about if you always have to say yes? Any problem that come towards you and your partner will only have the same result, his, her decision. Whenever you give a different perspective, they always reject it. Even if your opinion already considers their point of view. 10. They see you like their employee. Have you ever heard the term, bossy? A bossy person looks at other people like they are working for them. Even if you have no professional agreement between you and them. For example, you're at your office and suddenly your friend calls you. Your friend asked for help to look at his broken car because your friend wants to use the car to pick up their boyfriend or girlfriend. But you're in the middle of work. So you say that you can't fulfill the request. Usually if your friend has this kind of bossy attitude, they won't accept your reasons. They'll say, just leave your job. I need my car now. Ask for a little break to your supervisor. Your job is easy like a piece of cake. You can just go back to your office after you finish here. It won't take long. This also can happen in a romantic relationship. Where you're just become like a waitress for your partner. The phone rang, you're the one who should pick it up. When they're hungry you should start to prepare a meal for them. After they finished eating they commanded you to wash the dishes. Whatever you do, you have to fulfill their command and needs. 11. They can't keep a secret. In all kinds of relationships there will be so many story exchanges between you and them. From light and forgettable stories up to secret you only share with someone you trust. But what if one day your other friends asked you about that night, which you want to forget? You are sure that you only share these embarrassing stories only to one person. 
So why can your other friends have this information? When you try to ask a confirmation to the person you have trust they only say, oops I'm sorry I tell them your stories. But chill out. They will forget it soon. If this happens you will feel betrayed. You put a trust on them but this is what you got. Your stories become headlines in your neighborhood or circles of friends. It's not about a story anymore. It's about trust. It makes you think what else did they say about you behind your back. 12. There's only them, his, her, not us. Do you have a friend or life partner that always talked about themselves? The world is spinning only for them. The only thing they say is only, me, me, and me. They will complain if the situation is not going as they wish. They tell stories about how good they are to do some job. When you tell your stories and you're not done yet, they will cut your stories and continue their stories. They also compare other people including you with themselves and bragging about how good they are. Whatever the problem is, they always find the lack of others. And the only best way to do it is only their way and method. There are no us, because in this world only their point of view is important. 13. You're not happy. One of the most important factors you expect to have from a relationship is to be happy. A conflict will happen sometimes but it doesn't make you feel depressed because all of those conflicts can bring you and your partner toward a positive way. But what about if you pretend to be happy? You keep the false feeling that saying, I'm okay, I'm fine, even if your partner doesn't respect you, or intimidating you. You feel like you can't go out from this relationship and keep your true feelings deep inside. Try to communicate your feelings to your partner. Do they feel the same, do they think that this relationship is more important than anything else? Maybe both of you can turn on the lights just like when you and your partner first met. But if you cannot communicate this problem with your partner then it can bring your relationship into a dangerous path. The choice is yours. Good or bad, think about your best interest. Are you willing to stay, or you must go? 14. You feel exhausted emotionally. Humans are an emotional species. Very reasonable if we feel emotions such as happiness, sadness, fear, and many more. These emotions should be balanced, also your relationship. Is your relationship a balanced one? A relationship where you can share emotions from happiness to sadness, or is it just filled with anger and sadness? Every time you talk to each other the only thing that arises is negative emotions. Maybe you wonder how this can be. You are sure that in the beginning everything looks fine. Well, maybe this is not anyone's fault. Sometimes a relationship needs to take a break. Try to separate on temporary time first. Where both of you can calm down first. 15. They manipulate your feelings. A healthy relationship will always have a good emotional balance. For an example if you have a conflict, you and your partner don't try to find who is the one that pled guilty. You both can say sorry regardless of what or who started the argument. But if you're in the middle of a toxic relationship, your partner will always find a way to make you feel guilty. If this happens, maybe the real problem is that your partner feels insecure. To cover up that feeling they try to make you feel guilty. If this manipulative behavior keeps going, it can bring you into negative feelings about yourself. In the long term, your confidence and your self-esteem can be drowned. Don't let your partner manipulate you. You have to stand on your position where you can stay on your argument each time you realize that your point of view is the reasonable one. If you think you are experiencing these signs, you must do something quickly to change your relationship into a healthy relationship, or you're just gonna leave it. Sometimes separation is not a bad idea. Think about your mental and physical health. Remember, you always have a choice.